fact, I, that company specializes quite a bit in neutrals, and they brought out some new things here for the show, um, namely the um, Baxter sofa, which is on the right in, in a gray, very versatile sort of menswear, taking that menswear suiting trend, still, still evident, still evident because gray is going to still be important. Then there's Baxter, which is a swivel chair. And then there's the Hampton sofa at the top. One of the things um, that's tricky when it comes to upholstery is how to communicate that green message because which of, you know, which of these products is the green? You don't necessarily know that sight unseen. So much of the green story is what happens on the inside and the guts of the piece, right? Well, Hampton Sofa is part of their new Verde collection. And this is one of the uh, upholstery groups that really does achieve um, a lot of green standards. Um, worth checking out and worth seeing some of the options there. Um, it's, it has a plinth base, it's, which is manufactured from sustainable wood, which is FSC certified, that's the Forest <coughs> Stewardship Council. Uses water-based glues and stains. It's the spring suspension system, the spring made up of 75% recycled steel, soy-based foams, and the cover options are cotton, linen, and then this increasingly popular cover choice, bamboo, which who, who knew, right? But it's really one of the most intriguing uh, fabric stories that we're have been watching now for a few seasons. Green messaging comes through in the, um, in the inherent earth-friendly um, attributes of these products. This um, zooming in close on some of the textures in nature ultimately kind of plays through in this new area rug licensed collection. It's by Rick, uh, Rick Lee and it's for creative accents. And um, if you need to sort of Harken back to your French high school or uh, college uh, high school uh, French lessons. It's uh, papillon, which translates to butterfly. And I think that, that comes through fairly evident. And it's zooming in closely and looking at that sort of delicate pattern of the butterfly's wings. And um, this company offers uh, a it's complete custom story. Your color, your size, you choose. That custom messaging is also very empowering for the consumer. It adds a lot of value. You mean I get to choose? You mean I get it my way? You mean with your careful health advice and consideration, I get to have exactly what I want? Sign me up. This same, and, and just to show the, the power of um, this company in, in offering such a custom story, it, here it is offered in this, this yellow turquoise, aqua turquoise and, and orange uh, story. Um, very different personality. Um, Rick Lee has a number of designs, so you might want to check out the Creative Accent if your store's price limits are ultimately going to support um, a custom area rug program. Some of those organic textures uh, play through as well in the gold tones that we talked about. You're going to suspect me of a sort of partiality to toes at home, but they have a lot of really directional looks this season, so you see some additional question collections from them, including the Alchemy Collection. and. Um, not necessarily sure that it comes through in the slides, but you see this very intriguing texture that almost has a, a ripple-like quality. You could be looking at the sun setting against the water and the ripples in that. Um, the same is true then with that trend lighting piece, which is a really um, nice base to that, um, a nice body and base to that lamp. There's an acrylic piece, that sort of transparency and, transparency and openness on the bottom. Matched with a silk shade, once again, just upping that metallic cue even greater. Um, the Pebbles vase, I think, also too has some, some uh, resonance in, in this um, idea. I'm going to move into finishes. You've heard me talk about neutrals. You heard me talk a little bit about, about that Belgian aesthetic. And that's coming through in some of the finishes that are starting to gain some momentum here in the marketplace, sort of finally. Because this look, this color finish, these gray-brown finishes, very popular in Europe, they, they kind of have been for some time. But as we're becoming more interested in the um, surface interest, we become great, a, a greater conscience about where our products are coming from, we want to know more about the eco messaging behind the product, we're going to start to see some of these uh, finishes that it's not 27, 60 million step finishing process is kind of covering up what's there. It's actually about exposing what's there. This is the Westmoreland cabinet, one of the new pieces from Global Views here at this market. Um, very versatile silhouette. Is it an entertainment console? Is it going in your dining room? Is it going to be a storage piece or a display piece you might have in a, a family or living room? You betcha. Like that nice um, X motif. And once you get up close to the piece, you'll see it has quite a lot of shape and surface interest. There's a lot of shaping to create that um, almost um, 
cross or diamond sort of pattern you see in the center. That same finish comes through in this French heritage piece. It's part of their Beaulieu Chic Teak collection, and it's a taupe finish. It's sort of somewhere between gray. It's kind of somewhere between brown. It has both of those neutral stories, and would love to have you take notice of that wonderful scallop uh, apron there in the front, and uh, it has a beveled edge to it. A lot of great detail, a lot of great design went into this piece. It's definitely worth checking out. You've probably heard, or at least hopefully, the themes kind of coming through this idea of transparency, openness, and behind that is the idea of authenticity. I wanted to share, you a couple, share with you a couple quotes or just things I've read recently about this idea of authenticity. Collectively, we're tired of being spun. There's management consultants and authors James Gilmore and Joseph Pine II wrote recently in their trend book, Authenticity, What Consumers Really Want. In this sort of post-election, sort of tired of the recession mindset, we're looking for more genuineness, trustworthiness, and transparency. And I think that's really behind what you're going to start to see in a lot of these finishes. Don't cover up what's there. Let me see what's there. These two um, collections uh, that they're on the, uh, display here, the Phillips collection on the left, it's their butterfly um, cocktail end table. That same silhouette's available in a bar height. Uh, in, in a bar height um, table, and um, it's a solid piece of wood. This baby's heavy, this baby's real, this baby's authentic, it's the real deal. Same's true then over in the Provence Collection's loft table. That pedestal is made from the hearts of oak solid. I mean, we're talking, this is a substantial piece of furniture. This is the real deal. Look at that finish too. The finish even shows, shows it even more. It lets the beauty of the wood come through, authenticity. Mm -hmm. You see that same idea coming through in this piece from Forehand. Um, this is their Luca chest. They're over in building A. They've got two showrooms this market. More about that in a moment. As well as this Regina Andrew um, spindle uh, table. Remember when I was pointing out that great turned leg on the Paula Dean collection from Universal Home? Here again, you can see that's the idea of the turned wood base, a natural finish. One more reason, say yes, hand craftsmanship went into this, work went into this. This wasn't just an afterthought. This was a design piece about showing me what's behind the product. Part of this authenticity comes from um, the woods that are chosen and um, reclaimed woods, these rough hewn textures, bamboo veneers, and deeply distressed finishes. They offer this distinct appeal. Um, and these are particularly for use for the consumer who wants an interior and the entire look this sort of casual, lived-in, forgiving, sort of beaten up, not so perfect, not so precise look. Or for someone who's looking for that sort of eclectic statement piece for an existing interiors look. The natural markings of these materials convey um, authenticity. They also send environmental messages as well. Even a natural finish, whether or not the wood is sustainably harvested, somehow carries that badge of authenticity. And so then I have another piece from Regina Andrew Design to show, which is this great architect's coffee table. Um, if you're familiar with uh, sort of whitewashing, or sometimes you hear it as sort of like pickled finishes, um, really just takes this idea of um, grays and neutrals, this idea of this blending of the warm and cool finish tones, and offers something that's really truly unique. And for the customer who understands what this look, about, look is about, They'll understand it, they'll resonate, they'll get it. And one of the things, I, just even in how they photograph this image, look at the floor, it's in different finish, very rough hewn texture. Look at the seatings that, that it is paired with. It's paired with a, a cane or a rattan, a very natural material. A number of accessories are gonna work in this, within this little vignette. A number of colors are gonna work within this vignette. The same idea with these neutrals. Swap in, swap out, color, pattern, and texture as consumers' whims and desires change.